tell us a little bit about the other book, um, Ten Little Niggers. Yeah, Ten Little Niggers. That was a book that I wrote concerning uh, uh, in, in 1896 in the original Mother Goose nursery rhyme. They wrote a book called uh, a nursery rhyme called Ten Little Niggers, and they said ten little nigger boys went out to dine, went choked on themselves, and then they were nine. Nine little nigger boys set up late, one overslept, and then there were eight. Eight little nigger boys traveling in Devon, one said he would stay there, and then there were seven. And seven little nigger boys chopped up sticks, one chopped himself in half, and then there were six. Six little nigger boys playing with a hive of bumblebee stung one, and then there were five. And five little nigger boys going in for law, one got into chauncey, and then there was four. And four little nigger boys going out to see a red herring swallow one, and then there were three. Three little nigger boys walking in the zoo, a big bear hugged one, and then there were two. And two little nigger boys sitting in the sun, one got frizzled up, and then there were one. And one little nigger boy living all alone, he got married, and then there were none. And when I read that, and that, that, that nursery rhyme was used in Germany to teach German kids the numbers, believe it or not. And if you go to Holland today, that book is still produced in our uh, Dutch language with Technicolor black children in it called Ten Little Niggers in Dutch Language. Today, black families in the American economy. See, I maintain that the black family went through an evolution in the United States that tantamount to making a new type of human being who would normally be unknown in Africa because the family structure in Africa was so entirely different. Mm -hmm. To make harmony, not to make one person dominate another or one set of people dominate another, but to make peace in the family. <laughs> My eye. See, there it is, coming from all the way across the continent. That's what I know about. I know that two heads are better than one. I know that you can get more done collectively than you can get done by yourself. That's the African way. And I know that liberation leadership comes when you go inside yourself to go outside yourself. Okay. Co college is used as a snub club. Okay. Most blacks who go to college want to be members of the upper, dapper, la kappa, lapa, iota, <laughs> japa, jackass. Uh, <laughs> and then they come out spreading the damn Greek pin and the Greek <laughs> letters and they're freaks. When they come, okay. Instead of Greek, they're freaks. Okay. Black Greek, as if the Greeks were something. They don't know that the Greeks got their education from the Ethiopians, the Egyptians, and the others. In complete now, extremes. You see, the... <laughs> what you see is black kid going to white neighborhood to become white. Right. Training to become mentally white, but mm -hmm. remain physically black. Right. So that what you got is a messed up black child. Right. Uh, to combat the Ku Klux Klan. Okay. Uh -huh. And we formed the Center for Democratic Newark. Our main job is, is to fight the far right. At the time, the Klan was it. Okay. Now what we're dealing with is no longer we're simply dealing with the Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux Klan is the least program of the groups. Okay. The less dangerous, actually, the groups are dealing with, all right? Okay. But you have to deal uh, uh, with war, uh, the white Aryan uh, uh, resistance, right? You have to deal with the the uh, uh, underground that robs blanks and brings trucks in order to give money to all of the uh, uh, to the white uh, resistance organizations, given as much as uh, uh, six hundred thousand dollars to one group. See, uh, uh, the Klan. Uh, uh, what we were trying to do early uh -huh. was to get rid of the Klan right quick, but the whole racist surge uh -huh. was far beyond the Klan. Okay. See, and that's why we have to see that, 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 for instance, the Nazis, the Nazification of the Klan. See, the Klan used to think about simply terrorizing and intimidating blacks, okay? Right. With the Nazification of the Klan, their whole theology, their whole, their whole philosophy was different. Uh -huh. What they wanted to do was the elimination okay. of black people, right? Okay. By any means necessary, if you like using those terms, okay? okay? okay. Is... Uh, uh, so that uh, uh, they bolstered that with their own religion, which is the identity church. One, one other question, um, Liberia right. and its relationship with, was, was Liberia the, the continent, not the continent, but the country that was built as a result of Americans leaving? Was that part of the Garvey movement there? And, and the Liberia, so this was a resettlement of Africans from the continent, and then later in the um, 20s, you know, the, the Garvey movement had some people, some numbers of the Garvey movement from the United States went back to Liberia 
and joined this previous saddle mill. So, and then they had their own problems uh, because there were the people from the outside and the people from the groups that were on the inside who had already, who'd always been there and they had to work out their difficulties in the context of foreign powers trying to manipulate problems between people. Okay. So a large part of what you're seeing right now in Liberia is the outcome of uh, foreign domination and, and in the case of Liberia it's United States dom domination because that's the only thing okay. only place on the continent where the United States really had uh, over toehold you know the other almost all the other countries are identified with England France Portugal or something like that mm -hmm. but the United States had a pseudo uh, uh, relationship it wasn't really a colonial relationship, but it, but Liberia really wasn't out from under the thumb of the United States. Mm -hmm. and and maybe we need to call for white studies programs also. <laughs> what makes a people so sick that they think they've got to dominate everything in the world? <laughs> <laughs>